Wholesale. Wholesale. Theme, water. And let me introduce the uh, proprietor of water in my painting here, commonly known as Athena. And this painting actually I have replicated from a, an ancient artifact found in one of the islands of the Mediterranean. Very, very rare there. And uh, the features that I have in this, uh, this is a um, West African rite of passage mask to represent the people of Colchis. And this is the frog for Hekek, the frog um, goddess of the Nile. And this is the Argos. The theme here is going to be Jason and the Argonauts. And the um, ship, the, Ar the Argo, is, this is actually from a, an artifact uh, found there in Th Thessaly. The uh, departure of the ship on its uh, journey to Colchis began there in the eastern part of Greece. It's called the um, Harbor of the Moon, Iolcus, there. And I came across this artifact on uh, pottery. This was painted on pottery, and it is the actual ship of the Argo. Uh, in those early days, there was not um, sails. They did not use sails until later, which were mythically introduced. Argo itself uh, is like a greyhound. It means like a fleet dog there. And that, that's what I'll start with. <clears throat> In, in Greece, in the country of Greece, in sort of the center of Greece, is the country Boeotia. And Boeotia has like a, a, a low level, like a valley, and it floods. There are two rivers coming down from the mountains north of it. And the king of that country wants to reclaim the land for agriculture. So he prefers to the oracle Dodona, which is up at north in the Epicurus Mountains, to a great medicine man commonly known in English as Jason, actually Yasin. Yasin is the medicine man from the oracle of Dodona, who is the black dove. And a while ago we had one of the black dove walking around in here on cue. <laughs> so why is in order to do something with the water, the king has to have the permission of Athena, Athena who is the proprietor of all water. So to do that, um, Jason has to build a ship and then take that ship across the Black Sea, the Black Sea to the place in the very south is called Kokis. And there he will find the medicine woman, Medea. And Kokis was very uh, famous for herbs and uh, potions. Then. So. In the movie, they, in the 60s, they made a color movie by that title, Jason and the Argonauts, where the uh, all <laughs> star cast, you know, the whole movie lot was in it there. And that um, all, all kinds of uh, myths and things are all packed into it. The basis of the story actually comes from Apollonius of Rhodes, probably. 200 or 400 BC in, in Greece. And it is based on something that actually happened. <clears throat> so it's a kind of a legend studded with uh, mythical cameos and so forth. And the movie even packs in more characters like that. <clears throat> and so uh, the event itself must have been about 5,000 years ago when this actually took place. It's based on an older, older tradition of the great goddess culture that would be called the ship of renewal. And in that time, the Black Sea was called the Eutian Sea, uh, the Friendly Sea, or a Sea of Friendliness. And it's a freshwater sea. Only very recently um, have the scientists discovered that the seawall separating the, the outside seawater from the fresh water in an earthquake broke down and then uh, flooded into there and now making it a salt water sea. So all this took place a very, very long time ago and it has been retained in sort of a 
universal Mediterranean history, if you want to call it that. And it's in uh, the poems and the literature of ancient Egypt and in the songs of the harpist there. So some, some of the lines in that. So basically, Jason is now in the commission. <clears throat> he has this ship constructed and miraculously ends up over <clears throat> on, on the sea. While he is heading south to Colchis, <clears throat> he comes across Medea. She's in the water and in the movie, and uh, evidently her boat was made of reeds, so she's kind of floundering among the reeds. So he you know, pulls her out of the water, and then they arrive in Colchis. This Colchis is an ancient Egyptian colony from quite a long time ago. In the movie, the Colchians are portrayed looking like Mesopotamians, but the real ones are actually black people from Nubia. <clears throat> and Herodotus uh, in the fourth century BC was there and he reports on these people. And that's why I have this uh, mask here because the ancient Egyptians, I've seen a collection from Cairo of Egyptian wigs. And I'm kind of uh, suggesting that with this black face to suggest very different from the movie version of Medea that she is really a Nubian, a black woman. These people are from uh, the East Africa and they are really the original and principal Egyptians. And at certain times they are in complete control of the whole Nile. And it kind of goes back and forth over thousands of years. So here, um, he's there in Kokis. The idea of the uh, pursuit of the Golden Fleece has been interpolated into this story. That isn't the original, that isn't the original one. In the movie, they have a wonderful scene where Medea uh, mounts the throne. The throne is the throne of Isis, that, that's her signature. And she puts on this huge mantle. And this signifies that she is the sister of Athena. And behind her is Hecate, looming over her, the frog-headed goddess who is, promotes birth and also uh, sponsors the birth of the moon. <clears throat> After that, she administers to Jason a potion, <clears throat> a potion to dissolve his male ego. And the harpist, you know, is singing, <clears throat> that she saves him from fate, that which his heart uh, directs. <clears throat> and then she magically transforms, transports him over to North Africa, <clears throat> just west of um, Alexandria, more or less. The great lake that was once there in North Africa, called Tritonis, meaning the purity, this huge, huge lake was gradually drying up around you know, 4,500 years ago, and part of the Sierra is forming out of that. <clears throat> so when she transports him over there to the edge of this lake in the marshes, here is where she appears, <clears throat> Athena. And she is a bivalve mollusk, is what she is. <clears throat> and here she's uh, appearing out of that mollusk to him. And then the harp is is singing, the goodly destiny has come to pass. And that that's really the end of the song there. And somehow, we don't know, but Jason conveys, you know, this back to Greece. And of course, we have Athens, the city of Athens, and where was built the Parthenon. And in the Parthenon, the sculptor Phidias made this huge statue of Athena here, that this is a miniature of, and still maintaining the view that she is really a mollusk. So the polis, which is called the mantle, is actually the, the mantle in the mollusk itself. And the, the shield and, and the, the breastplates and all this are all to resonate that that's what she really is, and she becomes the, uh, in this way, the protector of Athens. All of this is destroyed later by the Persians. And uh, the myth of Athena you know, kind of lives on 
with us. The name Athena was a Greek misreading of her shrine, which is Net. Net is the Egyptian name for her. So that's the basic idea. Libya, which is the country there, it seems to be about where this happened, this great lake and her appearance there. And Libya, again, is also a Greek rendering of the other name of her, Laima. Laima also. Her names are actually, she's a native of North Africa. She's not Greek and she's not Egyptian. And she was also over here in the southwest, in Nevada. The people who have settled over here that are being called the Kauia, um, that was the lake there, Lake Kauia, now the Salton Sea, was because of the mollusk. There was, there's fossils of this mollusk at Lake Kauia is why the Kauia were there. They are from North Africa and they speak that language. And so, anyway, that concludes. Oh, 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 let me finish up here. I started out with the uh, Native American. And my shield, my, my shield here, my shield cover goes, mini calusa, meaning running water. Wakwana sen shanshun. I'm at this place. I'm at this place now where the water comes out of the rocks. This is the water. This is the spring of water between the dark rocks, between the blue rocks. I am at this place now. I'm at the beginning of water. With me at this place, the hummingbird with green tail, red throat. The hummingbird at this place, hunting, drumming. I am at this place where the water comes from darkness with the winter hummingbird that hangs bright-eyed over the water, hoovering, drumming. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me.